Hey guys and gals, let's unbox and have a look at the bricks and pieces in the Queer Eye, the Fab Five Loft by Lego, set number 10291, contains 974 bricks. So this is pretty much a preview what we're getting in here. There's a few pieces that I want out of here. Silver wig, profile bricks, rug pieces, and the cooktop. And I think some of this other stuff in here is printed, but we won't know yet. Yeah. Let's take a look at the back of the box. And that's pretty much what it is. It's just like a little, uh, an apartment and stuff. We get plants and things like that. And some adorable um, bulldog. <laughs> wow. Well, let's open this up and see what we get in the box here. I'm kind of curious. And it's got one of these thumb pusher things. And, oh, okay, I thought maybe it was tape too. I thought, well, they don't want us to get in here. This is one of those sets that I want to get done before work. And this is a bedside unboxing, too. Okay. Well, we got ourselves... Oh, well, this answers our question. We got stickers. And several numbered bags. I don't know if they're all separate bags or not. And a black 8x16 plate. Probably be good for making trains or something. We'll set that there. Let's take a look in here and see what we have. This is obviously an older set. And I got this set as a clearance item. Because Lego's going to retire it. I wonder why. <laughs> I guess they weren't selling enough copies of it or something. They just don't want it anymore. Alright, first let's take a look at the stickers. So... Looks like that might be an oven piece and yeah. now I'm not putting the stickers on this because this is a set that I purchased so these will just get stored in my sticker bin <laughs> and here's the manual uh, this is going to tell us about all stuff we're going to go through more of this in the build exploration than anything else yeah, that's the wig right there I'm after. I think just about half the dudes, including me, have tried the silvery hair. And that kind of thing. This is written in like... Is this? Okay, this is written in what, three or four different languages. Alright, we'll go through this more in detail. I just need to look and see how the bags are broken down here. And... So here we are, this is what I'm looking at. So it looks like bag one does all that there, and then bags two, three, four, and five build the apartment. So split up stuff. So tells you how to use the brick separator. Okay, enough of that. And obviously you can tell, um, I found a bag five, a three, a one. We have extra bags in here. So there's two bag number twos. So this is going to be a pretty good uh, set to build. <laughs> uh, when I do the build exploration or the build experience video, I'm just going to break it down into two installments. This is just too big of a set to do in one sitting. Well, let's take a look at bag one. So the first thing we have is the 8 by 16 plate. We've already seen that. And we got two bag number ones. Let's start with the smaller bag first. And I'm going to try to go through this really quick because there's certain pieces that I'm looking for in here right now. Okay, and oh yes, <laughs> that right there is what I'm after right there. A friend of mine mentioned about these and he goes, you may want this, it's got the rug pieces. So, yeah, I can see these pieces probably being used like for a hotel or a casino or something. So there you go, <laughs> and a couple of those. And there we are. There's the there's the quiff side part thing in silver. <laughs> I don't know if I have Jay the Surfer here. Actually, I do have him. Well, he's got a sad face, but we'll put that on there. Get rid of the pink fuchsia wig, and then we'll put this on there, and I'll show you here. And yes, I've had my hair like that before. And in order to get the silvery color, <laughs> lots, lots of bleaching and toner for that. So, Jay, now you can put the pink one back on. 
So yeah, that was one piece that I've been looking for. All right, and then we got the minifigure parts. Here's a figure right here. It looks like Mr. T. I don't pity, I pity the fool. Yeah, maybe we'll get a maybe we'll get an A Team Lego set. Here's another one here. It's more like a maybe medium nougat or just nougat, two sided. So. The whole point about these sets is to see exactly what we get in here and stuff like that. Here's some pants. Here's another one. I'm always looking for custom head pieces. They're always cool for making sig figs and stuff. And some sticks with flange. And we got a regular four stud long stick. The bulldog. I think that's what it is. Or it could be a pug. I'm always after animal figures like dogs and stuff. Then we got various flat tiles. Now, since this is a set that I purchased, I'm putting stickers on this. So no stickers. <laughs> Some of these one by two bricks with bow. I don't know if I mentioned, but this is a bedside unboxing. All right, so we got a wig piece here. Almost like a cape. And we got some book pieces. And there's a laptop. I don't like bending these too much. I got plenty of them, so I'll probably leave this one alone or just bend it where it stays up. Hollow studs, some transparent inserts for a 1x2x2 frame. We get a few of these. I'm always looking for these. These tinted pieces work good for campers and stuff, so I always like to try to hoard those up. And some black, well, <laughs> uh, 1x2 palisade bricks. That's pretty cool. And some downwards 1x1x1x1 one 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 plates. I can always use these two by two plates with the two studs on one side. Got a couple of those. I need a few more of those, actually. <laughs> and yes, I'm recording on a separate device. I'm hoping that everything sounds good. So that takes care of that one portion of bag one. And there are lots of round things in here, so hoping nothing rolls off and gets lost. And yes, I do buy my own sets from time to time. We will do, be doing a review on this as well in another video. Okay, so here we got a, a frame and an in, a black insert. Probably for a TV or something. And, well, that's kind of scuffed up. Well, I don't know what to use the black ones for, but I'll probably save them for something. we got plenty of window frames. And Love is Love. That's a nice little torso. Maybe it's a hoodie. I don't know what that is. And some dark red 1x8 flat tiles. 1x6 brick. Ooh, a gold fence. Good for, like, bottom pieces for fireplaces and stuff. And some 1x8 plates. 2x16 plate. Some tan pants. Or not tan, sand green. we got a teal brick separator. Oh, I like that jacket there. Oh, what does that say in here? Rebuild the world. Well, the front looked pretty cool until I saw that on the back. That'd make a great little leather jacket, though. I don't know. And then... That's not a bad little torso there. Some kind of Hawaiian theme. Hawaiian shirt. Oh. <laughs> oh, we can do... We can do something like, like maybe a theme back in the 80s. Miami Vice style or something. Yeah, there's a pink hoodie. Too bad right here wasn't colored in. And some 2x8 and 2x6 plates. Here's some more pants. 1x2 bricks with two studs on one side. One of these window pieces. Yes, usually the first bag takes the longest. And some 1x8 bricks in brittle brown. Okay, I could use these. Um, they are a two by two by two thirds brick or plate with two studs on the side. You know, I can use those for making campers and stuff. And we got some frames in here and two by four plates and stuff. Not too bad. So there's a lot of pieces in here. Just by doing this, I see a lot of stuff that I use commonly. So this is pretty much uh, a good score here. And I kind of cheated what before I bought it. I actually looked at the the parts list and the building guide see what was in these 
Okay, we got a nice medium azure hairbrush. Pretty cool. And I think one of the guys in here is a stylist, so maybe we might get some good styling stuff in here. And we got some metallic silver studs. Oh, if I had a way to put those in my ear, I would. <laughs> no, I'm not going to go that far. And some little leaf pieces. Looks like we get dark green and bright green. Okay. Nose cones. Some of these one by one round plates with the stick. And that looks kind of discolored. I don't know. And some scissors. So, yes, this must be the... Uh, the salon pack and there's the hat so if somebody gets a bad haircut they'll just have to put that on or if they forget to use the toner in the hair and you walk out with bright yellow hair because it wasn't toned correctly it's a round one by one flat tiles oh okay i could use one of these i've been looking for this style of piece it's i think it's a minifigure hat but it's like something you'd use like on top of a, a fire hydrant or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, what else do we get in there? Yeah, pretty much that's about it. And I've only seen these in black. I've never seen them in that color of gray before. Maybe I already have some of these little robot arms. That's what they look like. And some upwards, one by two by one by two angular plates, one by two plates with bow, uh, a stud with a stick. Yeah, so so far, bag one looks pretty good. Well, let's see what bag two has to offer. So we do have a pair of twos. Let's start with this one here. It looks like it's just mostly gray plates. So what I'm gathering is bag two probably builds the base of the apartment. So plenty of four by eight plates. You know, like, uh, I'm not much of a person that likes to use gray. So we get plenty of those. Man, it looks like this is a Star Wars set more than anything else. Two by four bricks. Oh, we got some three by threes. Two by four plates. And you get plenty of three by three plates in here, so it's coming in. You get some one by three bricks, some uh, dark stone gray, one by eight flat tiles, one by six plates, inverted one by three slopes, one by two bricks. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just very basic common stuff we've seen millions of times. Okay, the only time I get a good close-up shot, the bags are just overwhelmed with parts. <laughs> All right, so let's try to get ourselves a 6x14, a couple of these modified 6x12 plates. Not sure what those are going to be used for. And some 4x6 plates, oh, 6x10. And the one six by fourteens. These are great for making trailers and stuff like that. So plates like this will come in handy for mock building. So just remember, we're keeping an open mind here. What can we use these parts for? So I already got a couple of ideas. And some two by twelves and two by tens, two by, or one by eight. And that's a two by fourteen and a two by sixteen. And six by eight plates. I got tons of six by eight plates, but I don't know about gray though. Something you see very rare in a modern set is a 2 by 10 brick, and that's in, that's in uh, brick yellow or tan. So 2 by 6 bricks. And some of these gear pieces, well, there's only one here. So what would you use that for? I don't know. Some one or 4 by 4 modified uh, plates. 2 by 8 and 2 by 12. Hmm, we got a 2 by 3 in there, 2 by 3 brick, a couple of them. And just very basic stuff at this point. Nothing really catching my eye here. And, okay. Whoa. <laughs> I'm getting a little sloppy there because it's late at night. Okay. So, obviously we know what these go to. You snap those gears. This is supposed to be married to this. I'm not going to put that on there yet. We'll save that for the build. And yes, there will be a complete build of this set with commentary. Matter of fact, i got a couple of stories to talk about <laughs> that regard this set and some other things. Actually, the ideas from the set. So, uh, And some other stuff I'd like to talk about to get my mind off of it. Uh, 1x4 plates. we got some 1x2x2 corner flat tiles. 
These always come in handy for doodling and stuff and some two by two turntable pieces. Are these even printed or are they just solid white? Solid white, okay. So one by two by two corner plates, one by three plates, one by one plates, all kinds of stuff. And a one by one brick. So yeah, this one here kind of looks more like something you'd see in Star Wars, but that's a lot of parts for bag two. Let's see what a pair of threes has to offer us. Okay, now we're getting to the goodies. Let's see here, now. Okay. This is another piece I was after in this set is white profile bricks. These work good for painted bricks and stuff, so I got a bunch of those. And two uses for these. You can use these for speakers, or in this set, they use these for cooktops. So I believe that there's two of these in here, and a friend of mine said they're printed, so guess what I grabbed? This is why I got this set, because of that as well. That's another part. You get two of them. So just imagine building a stove, okay? Or you can just have just two burners or do something like that for more of like a chef kitchen. So yes, I need to find more of those. So I'm glad I ran into this set when I did because that right there would be good for house parts. Black drawers. I've never seen them in black before. I've had the doors in black, but now I got the drawers, so maybe those be great for like a toolbox or something, or something modern. And also we get some medium stone gray profile bricks, and some one by two bricks, and here's some torsos, well, or not torsos, uh, legs, and here's a torso. I can always use the short sleeves. Not so much of this pattern, but I can always use a short sleeve. You can pop those off, but they're very tricky. And a, a one by two brick with two studs on the side. Is that printed? No, we get some regular two by three flat tiles. Well, here's a head. Huh. Too bad I can't find Jay the Surfer in this color. Although that's too light for my skin. <laughs> Okay, that bag there had a lot of goodies. Let's see what this one has to do. Let's see what this one gives me here. Uh, we got two smaller bags, and let's see here. So, so far I see a lot of pieces to build houses. Lots of good stuff here. Ooh, a black cupboard. I don't think I have any of these. This would be good for like an oven piece, or maybe a microwave or something. can always use a couple of these... Uh, one by four by two wall elements. Here's a one or two by eight brick. Uh, two by twelve, four by eight. Oh, a black container piece here. Two by two by two black container. I've never seen that before in that color. Ooh, brittle brown seats. Ooh, I could just see those just completely just turning into dust if I use those. And a one by three by three door. There's some more wall panels. One by two by two wall elements. Corner bricks, 2x4 jumper plate, some 1x10 bricks in white. And white's okay. It's a, it was my go-to color back in the day. I can always use white. Bricks like that I can always use of any color pretty much. We got some 1x3 and 2x3 bricks. And here's another one. He's 1x2 bricks with two studs. Well, we got two of them. We got it in lime green and bright orange. And some 2x4 bricks and stuff like that. So, so far, uh, yes, we got some column bricks, 1x12 plates, and one of these 1x8 great flat tiles, and 1x6 one one plates and stuff. So, so far, lots of goodies. This is the type of sets I like to unbox because it's not dry and boring, and I was hoping that would be another stove piece. And I hope they put the stove pieces on pick-a-brick, but I doubt it. Maybe we'll have to get Lego to make more of those, huh? Okay. And two by two flat tile medium nougat. We get plenty of these one by one bricks here with the one stud on the side and more metallic silver studs. Pretty cool. And some more leaf pieces. And here's a wig here. I could say 
brush back quiff or something. And well, we got a car door and a wine glass and jumper plates, a hollow gold stud. Oh, there's a pot. I can always use more of those. You know, if I got billions of them, like, oh, it's not going to hurt to have another one. One by one bricks and some round bricks, transparent clear. And then we got some one by three flat tiles, one by three plates. Yeah, so far, lots of useful pieces. This set here is going to be good for parts. I think I bought this set. It was on the clearance for like $55, $60. I think the regular price is like $100. Even at $100, the set still got some decent pieces. But for that price, yeah, I think it's retiring soon. So if it's still there, you better scarf it up for parts. Especially for the cereal bowls and the mixer. I don't have this piece here, the beater piece. So I'm going to have to see if I can get a couple more of those for kitchenware. And then we got a... A pearl silver frying pan. Oh, we get two beater pieces. Cool. And a spoon. We got a couple of ice cream spoons here. And uh, pearl silver. So see, this is so far, this is a set that's up my alley. 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 <laughs> oh, I need to get some sleep there. And a pearl silver meat cleaver. All right, we got a San Yellow candle piece oh, in addition to the cereal bowls we also got some little teacups too cool we can always use those huh and some taps transparent clear or transparent blue studs some of these one by one round plates with the stick round bricks and nose cones and some cool yellow one by one plates and these little tiny frying pans or it's just usually a stud with a stick. There's so many Lego elements I don't even know. We got some round flat tiles, some parabola dishes, and all sorts of stuff. So yeah, so far, lots of goodies in that bag. We have a pair of bag fours. Let's see what's in this one here. It's kind of obvious. Okay, so you can see we get an abundance amount of 1x2 profile bricks with single groove or brick bricks. And, well, here's Jay the Surfer's hair right there. So I found one of those and cell phone. So maybe we found Jay's cell phone and a stick with flange or a stick on a a stud. I don't know what those are. We got one by one bricks. So that bag was pretty much well, that's it. So nothing really special in there. Just some much needed pieces. And I don't have a lot of that brick in that color. Those would work good for like center blocks and stuff. And let's see what we have in this one here. Okay, we got some windows. Some frames for windows. And Lego, you know, I'm going to stop buying glass pieces or anything like that because I'm tired of that getting scuffed. I almost said the S word now. And some of these plant pieces here. Some people have asked me where I get these big ivy pieces. Well, there you go. Just stick a couple of those in there and you got yourself some nice big ivy plants or ferns. These are great for like, you know, gardens or, you know, some like like some kind of heavy fern covered canyon or something one by eight plates with rail or slime pretty cool and we got some dark orange pants somebody's heads rolling around two-sided some rocket ship pieces and some of these little one by four by one and two thirds window with bow and black. I can use those. One by six place and oh style taste class. Well I was hoping that wouldn't be printed on that piece there. You know, just using this <laughs> this would be good for like a bar or something, like if you're making a night 
club or a pub or something. There you go. And this piece here doesn't look like it's scuffed at all. So this one kind of got away with not getting damaged. You know, some of this stuff looks like it's kind of yellowed. So maybe it's been here for a while. And one of these type of doors. I call them fancy doors, but that's only if they had like the dark insert in there. We got some 1x4 profile bricks. This set's got three different colors of profile bricks with single groove. There's a torso. And yikes, I wouldn't wear that. What is this, back from the 80s or something? <laughs> I never wore any of that Hawaiian stuff. Never will. Some 2x10 and 1x10 plates, 2x4 plates, some 1x1 one one bricks with holder, 1x2x2 two two corner bricks, some 1x2 two bricks, and one of these 4x4 four four round plates with the 2x2 two two cutout, probably to put that in there. Yeah, so far not too bad. Not too bad at all. Like I said, though, a lot of these pieces I can use for my own custom ideas and stuff. Okay. Let's drop that on the ground there. Some more of these one by one plates with the stick and some bright green stud flowers. All right, one by two by one wall element, a one by two track piece. What else do we get in here? Some little trophies in white. Pretty cool. We got one, a couple of those and some jumper plates. Okay, we got some of these modified two by two plates with two studs and Medium stone gray, two by three flat tile in black. I've seen these before. Wish I had another cooktop on it. I would have been fine with that. And some dark stone gray, two by two flat tiles. And we got a one by two by two corner flat tile. And a one by two corner plate. Um, or one by two by two corner plate. One by two plates and one by three plates. Yeah, so so far. I'm liking the parts in this set. This has really got some nice stuff. Finally, a pair of fives. Let's start with the small one first. So far, I'm pleased with the parts in this set because a lot of the stuff I could use. Okay, well, this caught my eye, which is a nice, I think that is a magenta bag. So. It's like a nice little purse and some one by five round plates. Okay, a couple of these. I hope there's more than just that in there because I can use those one by four plates with the studs. And plenty more of these white profile bricks. And I see a bunch of these one by one by one and two thirds brick with the two vertical studs. I can always use those. We got a couple of heads here. Oh, okay. It's the same thing. We have twins or something in here, and well, here's a top knot wig. Can use that, and that's some dark brown, and some regular profile bricks in here. I can always use those, and some wigs. And let's see here. We got ourselves a couple wigs. Okay. And those are in dark orange, some reddish. Oh, my bad, I'm sorry. Real brown, one by four flat tiles. So this one doesn't look like it has a whole lot in here. This is just a regular white prof uh, minifigure head. More profile bricks. So yes, if you're getting this set for profile bricks, there you go. <laughs> I think a lot of us that are getting this set exactly, that's what we got it for. I should have picked up another one of these sets just for the parts. Just so I can use it to build. Oh, and I think there's about 80, 85, maybe 86 of those white profile bricks in there, too. Ooh, brittle brown door. Oh, man, I gotta be careful. It may break. <laughs> I can always use more doors. And another one of those inserts to go into one of these. I don't know if I can even pick it up. So you're just supposed to set it in there. What's the point of that? I don't know. Maybe as a false wall or to give some more space. And let's take a look at the torsos here. It's pretty cool. 
like this tan one. Okay, we got another wig here. I think I've seen that a few times. And some legs. And then one of these big old cogs. I'm not sure what you'd use the cog for. Well, we're going to build it, so we're going to find out what all this stuff does. And some more of these 4x6 frames. And another one of those nice fancy doors. These are kind of good for making shop doors and stuff. So, Or if you really wanted to, for a skylight or something like that. Half round 3x6 plate, 6x6 six six plate, 4x6 six plate, and we got a 4x4 four four and 3x3s. Three Here's a little bit of a tip. You can shove that right in there, and there you go. <laughs> and some legs. Uh, nothing too special. And some 1x4 bricks. We got a Technic brick and a regular 1x4 brick. 1x6 plates. So we got some column bricks. We got a 1x1x3 a one by one by and a 1x1x5. One by one by these are always good for like putting between windows. Probably that's what they're for is between these. I wish they'd make a six stud high, or six brick high would be fine, or you can just use two of these. And some corner bricks, and some inverted 25 degree slopes, and two by six plates, round bricks, and stuff like that. These are good building bricks for making houses and buildings and stuff. So this set's got everything. I'd see that I probably could use about 60 to 75% of this set just, just by just going through this. So this bag here has got plenty of one by one bricks here, and we got some with the stud on the side and some more of this metallic silver studs. Ooh, shiny, huh? And a red baseball cap, and sadly that is a snapback. What, no fitted? I used to be in that fitted hat phase. <laughs> and we got some of these friction Technic pins with the ball on the end and some one by three flat tiles transparent black one by one plates some of these little connect connector pins no these are lipstick pieces i believe yeah, that's what these are lipstick they're, they're in white but they're the 3.2 mil mil shaft so you could fit them in here like this probably what we're going to be using them for and some jumper plates and all sorts of stuff in here and yeah, so far, well, let's take a look at this one. This one's got some greenery in here. But yeah, I am liking the palette on this set. I mean, there's not any colors that are really standing out, but these are pieces that I could use for a lot of my style of builds. Plenty of leaf pieces. I can use more of these. We got a bunch in that bag there. Not enough to make a whole entire tree or forest, but it's a start. And some of these little plant pieces with the 3.2 shafts. So you can actually stick these in here you can make a whole entire plant and we got ourselves a little we got two of these little side satchels i think that's what they're called and brittle brown and in medium nougat so we can always use those they look like camera bags in a way and some dark stone gray flat tiles and some white one by two by two corner plates and some shoe glider plates a broom Ooh, one by three flat tiles and brittle brown no We've gotta be careful those may just vaporize we got plenty of studs here so we got uh, olive green spring green and we also got white in here but this is a hollow one and we got some stud flowers oh here's some dark or no this is earth green the hollow studs are in earth green too, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, and some one by one, one by two plates, some round one by one jumper plates. You now I dropped that guy on the floor, but that is you get a four stud long stick and a stick with flange. And yeah, I'm getting kind of sloppy here. And some one by one flat tiles, one by one round flat tiles, and all sorts of stuff. Okay, for the final assessment of the parts in this set, is there anything of use? Well, for me personally, I build a lot of the city stuff, and I see a lot of these pieces for making houses. There's a lot of interior stuff too. It looks like it's going to be used in this set. 
So a lot of stuff I could use for my own builds, like houses, campers, and stuff like that. So a lot of the pieces, just by looking at all the bags, I'd say probably about 75 to 80 percent of this I can use. That's a pretty good deal, especially when I found this set on on Clarence, because Lego's going to retire it soon. So for me, $55, 60 dollars for almost a thousand pieces. I don't know what it is. I threw the box somewhere. Usually that's never to be nowhere to be found. But honestly, though, this is not a bad set. Now, if you'd like to see the build of this set, all right, it's going to be on my second channel. And, yeah, I think we'll have some fun building this one. I think we're going to dive right on in and just kind of <laughs> tear loose on this build and see what we can do here. And so far, it looks like it's going to be a very interesting build at that. A lot of good building techniques in there. So tell me what you think. Any good useful parts in the set? For me personally, yes, a lot of goodies in here. But tell me what you think.